what's up guys this is the road for men and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my M M empire total war let's play as grand columbia and in this episode we are attacking the british headquarters or the british um, capital here at tunis Gisbert stanhope versus Cidero moreno i think we know who's gonna take this one uh, guys um, but we need to be really careful about how we deal with the um the british faction right now because we want to we could i think in theory wipe them out if we send a western army to go and invade um, libya but i don't want to do that at all because we want to uh so that's where the british are deploying i want to focus on on um well if we can build up our army so that we can invade india pretty nicely that's the time to do it. If we knock out Britain, then we can invade India quite quickly because it'll only be rebel factions. Um, so we're probably going to storm up the hill. Let's put our melee troops on the right flank. Give them some extra native troops to help protect them. Frontiersmen on the left. Let's maybe deploy our cavalry somewhere near the artillery. To be honest, my horse artillery up here as well mr moreno himself uh, yes i think we want to storm up the hill so let's get to it then our melee troops in through the town oh no they got quick line oh they've knocked a hole in my auxiliaries he running my howitzers unlimber them I'm actually going to break my uh, native troops. They weren't the target. The pikemen were the target, but they kept missing. Let's storm up. Um, oh, my frontiersmen got left behind. Enemy cavalry are going to conduct a bit of a spoiling attack. I mean... They're welcome to. I mean, they tried to break away at the last second. What do they think was going to happen? Um, frontiersmen. Okay, I'll check my sound in a second. I don't know why those are turned off. Okay, get my colonial dragoons up. They can skirmish with the... Oh no, sorry, my light dragoons. I can skirmish with the native... With the, um... With the uh, armed citizenry over here. Yep, quick line was missed. The light cavalry tried to do some damage, but I don't think they're going to make it. Okay, all you guys get over here. Just use all my artillery just to bombard the town. They got a lot of stakes over here which makes cavalry operations a bit challenging so we may have to rely on our infantry to clear them out not that that should be too much of a problem our line infantry is exceptional one of our units is wavering though so let's bring up our general My frontiersmen are walking. Excellent. Look at how it says to drop quick lime. My bowmen can push up, try and engage. Oh, yes. Excellent shots. Bring my cavalry up. They might only be good for chasing routing units because they can't really flank in that easily with all of these defensive measures. My well, dragoons are doing a lot of good damage. 
Okay, let's capture those that stake line. Go for the armed citizenry. But you know what? Let's dismount my dragoons. We need infantry more than we need cavalry at the moment. Let's get you in to join the line. The armed citizenry is in a very place at the moment. Retarget the artillery. I mean, I've, did I kill a bunch of my own cavalry? Kind of. I think, though. Yeah, they've all broken. Excellent. Take that, you colonists. Nice. That's really good. That is a good capture for us. Tunis is quite a good... Actually, water is all uh, green. Uh, Tunis is quite a good staging base for the rest of the... Well, potentially for the rest of our operations in the Mediterranean. Um... You can also resolve against them. And advance towards the enemy. Let's knock down the church school. See if knock down the universe this happiness building. See if we can replace it with a church school. Let's get a sloop. Upgrade oh, the infrastructure. So yeah, in theory, we could have sailed this army around to attack Tripoli. Because we've got control of CERT. Um, but I need to clear out this army first, I think. Other than that, I think a lot of the stuff... We've done a lot of what we want to do. If we move you out of Copenhagen, these fellows in, you can just about tolerate that. But let's get some infantry to garrison it just in case. You can try and go after those Brits. Can't build a church school here. I have to wonder if it's something to do with the faction, to be honest. Let's not build anything here just in case it gets raided. We've landed outside of Paris. I think I want to leave most of that alone. A lot of stuff is automatically going to carry through during the end turn phase. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we do. We are reaching a point now where we want to start to uh, yeah, to take out Mexico. We can just tie up the Americas as being done, and then not worry about it. Brit Mexico, oh, the Royal Navy chasing. Where did they come from? The Royal, the Royal Navy are chasing down the Mexican army. Well, the Mexican Navy, that's the that's what happens when you sail a invasion force with one single ship. On one, on, on one single ship, not only is it incredibly ahistorical, it is also incredibly dangerous. A couple of Russian ship, ships sailing around. Those could cause problems down the line, but... We're not ever so worried about them in the minute. Right. So. between Got raided. Let's see if we can still knock it down. So we will want to fight them. Uh, let's take... There we go. Yeah. It must, there must be some sort of broken faction thing where we can't actually build church schools outside of our home theatre, in which case we might have to start knocking buildings down and replacing them with church schools. And then we can ship our um, priests overseas.
you're okay for now. So you are our attack fleet. Jerome Cotton. Okay, move you out. You go in. I'm fairly sure our East Indies fleet is actually... That's India. Yeah, they're not firing on all cylinders. So let's send them out to replace them. Upgrade the governor's building. So, up here... You can join. You've also got some... Ah, you can't all join. There we go. So we've actually got... You're like our northern fleet to deal with any any issues because your range is pretty good. Let's take this first rate ship of the line. Recruit them an admiral. Aaron Ayala. Some extra ships are going to be recruited to go over here, but we'll redirect them to Aaron. I do like having some third rates at the back. So you've got space for four more infantry units. You can probably stand to not recruit Colonial Line. Because if we move out of the city... Yeah, Marines of Philadelphia, but also... Well, actually, no, I suppose that is all we can get from the Americas. Interesting. Um, so we'd like two units of light infantry, but we can't really get them. Well, we don't get access to lots of the uh, special Swiss Jaegers and so on that other factions get. Let's get some... Uh, one unit of native muscular regulars, get a unit of bowmen. Lots of good recruitment in Portugal, again, to kind of bolster... Not just this army, but this army that's pushing towards... That will push towards... No. Go there directly. So you've got space for two more units, which will probably be skirmishes. So in Europe, our roster's a lot bigger. If we've got a limit on guerrillas, two... A limit of two on the guerrillas. Fortunate. We've got lots of elite infantry, but we don't have we don't have many options for skirmishes. Well, let's use them. You've got three units, you don't need three, so one I'll go over here and we'll cancel the recruitment of another. So Okay, right, before we do most of this stuff, we're gonna to want to go over to India. And use Henry Cresswell to attack Amaran Guha. Should be able to overpower them quite nicely. First rate and second rate. As long as we manoeuvre well, we should be okay. Let's see if the wind is on our side. So, same... Same plan as we always do. Heavies up front. Uh, then our first rates. Then our seconds. Then thirds up the rear to do a bit of chasing and pursuing. Um, follow the weather gauge. Aha! So how are you going to manoeuvre, good sir? Before I worry about what you're going to do, I'm going to... Hmm. How are you manoeuvring? Yeah, let's try close the distance. Close the distance and see what direction they go. 
I mean, they've usually, they usually usually like to turn into the wind. Well, with the wind, rather, not into it. So I suspect they'll probably suddenly start going this way. Not so much. But if they attempt to, if they leave us too much freedom to move, what they're going to actually do is. Well, whenever they do electrode turn into us. Hmm. I mean, that kind of doesn't help us. Well, I mean, it's, eh, that's okay. We're limited on our manoeuvring capability here, though. We might not necessarily be able to make the turn in time. No, I don't think we're going to make that. Hmm. No, I think we have to kind of... No, that's not going to work. But a really not super ideal kink in our line trying to do that maneuver. Not ideal, but at least it looks like well, because we're on the far side of their their formation from their heavy ships. If they attempt to turn into us or fire upon us, they will be limited in the firepower they can bring to bear against us. just turning away from us. Okay, let's do something like this. But my lead ship go slow. They set my lead. They they set my ship on fire. Oh, okay, no, no, they put it back out. You can't decrease your sail. That's kind of lame. Especially as it looks like you're gonna get you're getting ahead of yourself a bit here. Ignore the formation, everyone just turn to make this sail as best as you can. Here we go, now they're turning into us. Come on, Fuchs. Full sail, please. These two need to haul ass, because there are... Well, you need to haul ass, because you're our heavy first rate ship of the line. But yeah, their heavies aren't able to get a clear line of fire. So if they shoot at us, then... They will also be damaged. Well, they'll also damage their own ships. You're on Oh, yeah, 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 you're on fire. That's okay. If it starts to get bad, we will make them turn away from the fight still on fire let's turn fire it will on just for a cheeky do a cheeky bit of damage I mean my hope is if I can get around the Okay, 
Are they turning away from us? Ultimately, as you get, you don't necessarily have to go all the way to the back. Just these are all fifths, and these start to get carronade frigates. So then we actually lose, we actually experience less damage the further back we go. Although your morale is pretty poor. So you just did a bunch of damage to your own fifth rate in theory. It's turned you away. Geary. Still on fire. Mm. Not quite the engagement that we're looking for. looks like what they want to do they, they're doing a complete about face to be honest I suppose I might at this point just hunker down and just engage just keep engaging don't don't try and be too clever about it just These guys are in range of their column as it turns. Just keep shooting. Are you in range? You know, all focus on the same or similar ships. So you're still on fire. You've been on fire for ages. You shouldn't be engaged by the by this line of ships. Okay, they're starting to kink around again. Ultimately, you might be best just to loop around because all your strength is on your other is on your other um, battery. You guys best know. Yeah, I think now is the best. Now this is the best thing to do because right now they're in a bit of a mess trying to work out what they want to do. So let's maybe sail. Okay, right. So what do we want to do? You want to go here. You're going to go here. You're going to go here and these ships are going to try and just get into a line like this it's going to take some time there we go now they've changed they now they've realized that actually if they don't do something fast they're in trouble Fire it well off for a second. Or we'll turn it on for a second. But then it might just be out of range. Nope. Because they are still on fire. That must be one big fire. Just keep bombarding. This fifth rate's storming in. Pivot. Because it looks like they're all going to come this way. I think 
maybe put you here. It's going to be a bit funky of a line out. Why are we hopping in? same thing as Sanio de Ponzo in that you're going to loop around again and use your port battery rather than your starboard because it's in better condition. Something like that. So right now we're focusing on this fifth rate. Because that's the only ship we've got to shoot at, but then afterwards we're going to start engaging these guys again. It's going to take time for all these ships to get into their position, but then they're going to keep, they're going to be covered. But what are you going to do? you guys try and do something like this a lot of our ships are not in a good position to engage the enemy. Maybe you want to be like slightly more like this. Push forward, and you need to pivot and start engaging. Yeah, they are starting to nake back around. San Joseph. Excellent. You're in fine position to start engaging yourself there anyway. Yeah, some of there. Can you need finally not on fire anymore? of their lines starting to range trouble. Go on, third reach of the line, put some shots into him, agree? Yeah, just drop anchor where you are, to be honest. You. A lot of these ships just need to... You are firing. It's an awfully slow walk there. I 
because a lot of these ships are just not in good positions anymore. You all need to manoeuvre. These two ships are going to go try and cut off the their first rate. Because the rest of their fleet is just going to go down. You guys just need to manoeuvre and get to wherever the hell you need to be, because right now you're not anywhere useful. Yeah, first race time to loop around again. First rate's backing off, but they're the rest of their ship is still vulnerable. Ooh, I need to go into the wind, otherwise it's going to take way too long. You're not in a, none of you guys are going to be in a good position to engage soon, so you're going to have to push up. Start picking off. Well, we're starting to pick out the stronger portion of their fleet for the rear. All because they wouldn't turn into us. third rate ship of the line. I don't want you to get too isolated. There you go, one of their fifth rates is sinking. Loop back around again because the third the first starting to turn. There you go, this first third rate can get into a position just to start dumping shells into Nigiri. Nili Niligiri. your job just sit there and pump shots into them same with the second they can push up to support that it's fifth rates turning sixth rate sinking Sam for me just keep reloading Keep reloading, pumping shots into that first rate ship of the line. Okay, you start to knock out some of these smaller ships. Let's reduce the number of guns they can send against us.
keep trying to get ahead of the fleet. Whereas you're in more of a position to engage the tail of the fleet. Particularly this corner. Full speed, because right now these guys aren't, aren't engaging. shots into... Well, though, to be honest, now you're all pretty decently and reasonably in range. Let's take San Isabel. You're going to get in close just to keep engaging the fourth rate. the herd ratio of the lines in, ba in a bad way. So you ships are going to... These ships are going to push forward. These guys are just going to keep engaging the tail of their line. long way until they're in chain shot range. Lots of good hits. Lots of heavier ships are expending lots of firepower against their smaller ships. This ship up ahead of the first rate just because they're taking a lot of damage. Because it's going to take them a long time to get to us. We can, we'll be able to strip off all of Nidagiri's masts. Which should be pretty nice. These fourth rates are being engaged with no response okay get ready and Gennaro is on fire okay, she knows what's about to happen to her she's turning she wants this ship You're in a position to fire chain, so you're, you're all going to fire chain because chain has quite good um, impacts on morale. Okay, these ships are all going to move up. These ones are going to stay where they are and just keep engaging the tail of their line. You guys need to keep firing round shot. Helpinge is going to use chain. So Balthazar is upset. San Gennaro is pleased about it. Here we go. 
keep engaging. I mean, it'll be El Pinge firing chain that will be, to me, the most useful. Because the morale impact of losing masts can be quite significant. Are keeping carrying on, continuing to chip away at the tail of their fleet, but ever so slowly. You may need to start closing the distance. Sailing forward. You might start firing chain now, she's getting close. Closer, that is. Come on, how are they, man how are they managing to put up with so much damage? I suppose it's just, it's just the range. Come on, San Gennaro. Stay where you are. But you know, you keep firing chain. We need to whip those masts off. All of them. Leave them a floating hulk in the water. Drop anchor. Keep firing chain broadsides from there. You should be in a position to soon start engaging these guys poor fourth rate it's <laughs> just been taking hit after hit after hit also fire chain need to really hunk stop the ship's ability to maneuver quite rapidly There we go. Round shots. Your broadsides become critical. Just to try stop them. Okay, they're all starting to manoeuvre now. You're at uh, the fourth rate starting. Okay, they're all starting to break out now. And she's starting to manoeuvre. reasonable. Just fire at will. We'll get a couple of hits. Oh, what a fluke. Oh no, that wasn't a fluke. It's a superb piece of naval skill. Come on, mate Nilligiri route. Now 
hunting. Okay, yeah, just keep hitting her. Don't let her. Just you've got to make her surrender so she doesn't come back. Yeah, she's already back. Charada's coming in. Get ready to fire chain from San Augustine. Surrendered. Excellent. New men push. Push more like this. By a round shot at range. You may have to knock out Brahma Putra. Get ready to fire chain. Shot into Cora. Third rate's going down. Yeah, you're going down, son. Second rate surrendered by a round shot. Excellent. Excellent. And these two ships push the rear of the formation. Battery, Horas routed. And you're going to pivot to get ready to engage Verata. There we go. We tried all your, all your clever maneuvers. Let's focus on chain to try and knock out that ship. Good. Shots into Virata. Excellent. Go on, El Pingue. Forty one guns. Pingay is on fire, fire will off. Try board. Oh no, surrendered. But let's make sure. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh no, Nicobar is still routing. There we go. Yeah, that was a bit dodgy, I must admit. They had lots of smaller ships, which were helping to offset my my overall firepower advantage. So we're going to bring them all in. Make sure my the stronger ships are in my main fleet. They can go in for repairs. And then start recruiting sloops. Stay close because you will get repaired. Now that's Ceylon. You've got space for seven units. Let's go for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. So that'll be three armies. One army. <laughs> 
two are soon to be two armies ready to invade we can take Kutak and Calcutta quite quickly um, when they have been when they've uh, when Britain has been destroyed push forward you're gonna stay where you are just to see what well you're gonna shift shuffle forward okay full well a full garrison effectively in Paris so this army is gonna push up to provide support you're just gonna start sieging Turin put them under siege don't worry about the attack Although what I could do really is move the guerrillas up. Cancel your recruitment of guerrillas. Replenish your recruitment of guerrillas. Move you up. So you can just immediately start helping out with support. Then probably start recruiting a another army in Britain. Let's get some of our Heaviest artillery. Okay, Grenadier Guards unit, get a Garrison Guards unit, get Fusilier unit, and then let's get two units of expat infantry. Good. You can deal with those rebellious Brits. Then move south. And then what you're going to do, good sir, is build a fort. We're not at war with with um, Hanover, but it's more about hedging our bets. Then you could probably do with pushing forward and attacking these remaining Brits. Keep the pressure on them. Um, we will eventually push them out of Tunisia. But like I said, we will not attack Tunisia and capture it until we're in a position um, to fight in India, which I think, to be honest, we're pretty close. With the destruction of that navy, they might be quite vulnerable to a follow-up 1-2 smackaroony. Okay, the artillery sit on the higher ground so the enemy have reinforcements let's put our best infantry in the center create two brigades on the flank awesome Deploy our cavalry as and when. So we want to push forward at speed. Enemy reinforcements are coming in from directly behind them. Cavalry pushing up. Yeah, there's their reinforcements coming in from the coast. They may have been resupplied, but they have not been reinforced. My artillery is just engaging their artillery, which is fine, but I want to start quick climbing some of their cavalry. They didn't like that. So if we retarget someone else, they've changed their mind. It is all their militia and irregular units. They're attempting to screen, screen the main force. We are now within range of our line. The Amazons have actually... That's not a bad idea, actually, to put stakes like that. Artillery engage the. Hello! Poor fellows, you're about to get executed. 
Here comes the enemy general's bodyguard. Are they steaming in? Yes, they are. Swords aloft. They want to make something of it. So let's just drop you in square. Okay, their flank is collapsed. Advance at speed. Run the cavalry in. Few men try to kill the general. They manage to break our square. But you will pay for this heroic endeavor. Put artillery engage the enemy. Cavalry is about to deal with their artillery. Excellent. The field is ours. Take the ground and force them back. my howitzers to round shot so they can start to engage the infantry that are coming in, in reinf to reinforce. Colonial light infantry are under being thrashed by around by um, by my rank. There we go. Advance the line. Run a unit of cavalry back to take out their artillery. Fight their light cavalry, otherwise we will just lose it. Militia are advancing, that's Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. for this general's bodyguard actually getting some good hits there we go killed their cavalry and they still have enemy re infantry reinforcements over here going to hold off on moving actually but the movement still held actually where is the infantry guards let's go for them advance the line up aggressively Force their Cairo infantry guards to do something about us rather than chasing down my cavalry. So they killed their general. Yeah, see, they're chasing down my cavalry. They're not interested in going after my line, which is what I want them to do. The Amazons have fired into this combat. Let's recall the cavalry. Maintain the advance. Kill some more colonial line. Probably aren't going to be able to kill them in time, but what the heck. Come 
front of you, man. Load and make ready. They're right in, up, they're right in front of you. Good hits. They're very upset about that. My cavalry can go for the Amazons. My infantry here will go for the, the enemy infantry. Infantry on the hill, We're broken. Advance up and take the ground. Enemy artillery has decided to attack short. Hit the mercenaries. Although, actually, it's probably better I take my cavalry and go for the... Go for the enemy artillery and instead use my other infantry out here. Go for the howitzers. The enemy infantry is about to break. Right, roll your guns up to the line. Frontiersmen going to melee combat, but that's fine. My grenadiers are nearby. But that man killed a grenadier. Mercenaries have come back. Kill the last gunner. Kill these gunners. Excellent, they're falling. Get him! Let's get my general over here to do some work. He's been left behind. And right, we're going to continue. You should be able to kill that guy. If not, kill that guy. Ceasefire artillery. So I think the only th so the only things you can really do here are either shoot them in the infantry or rely on a bouncing miss from the artillery. You can shoot him, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Nice. Good victory, and I think that's the breaking of the British power in Tunisia. They're retreating back. Maintain the forward momentum, keep the pressure going, keep replenishing. We've done all this stuff. Let's keep the naval hospital. Let's get them. Uh, Desert Warriors are ever so slightly cheaper Oops, to sustain. So let's use them as a garrison unit for the naval hospital. Nice. Okay. I think that's everything I want to do for the time being. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here and bring you guys back um, in the next episode so I can hit and turn and kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.